So um, we are looking at the status report requirements. And as you can tell in this assignment, each team or individual will complete work and uh, during the week, and you're gonna submit a single status report, one per team or individual by Friday. So you're gonna work, you're going to look at the overview, you can work ahead if you wish, and you're going to submit a single status report. And these reports are something important that you may want to include on your resume. The fact that you've written them, you are probably going to want to talk about them in your um, uh, interviews, particularly now. So as we look ahead, <laughs> um, please read through this. But as you as you look ahead, you're probably going to notice that um, in a world where we are more likely to work from home, why is this important? Well, status reports are professional. They help track time and work for projects. Sometimes they're how people bill. So I can bill for a project based on the time and what my people did. They allow superiors to better understand challenges and allocate resources. So if I have someone writing me a status report every day, I can look at them and go, hey, you're doing a really good job here, but let's spend more time on this other thing that's going to accomplish more of our company's goals. It creates this automatic feedback loop that isn't, isn't necessitated by a crisis. It's a natural feedback loop that keeps managers aware of what their people are doing and allows an easy way to have conversations about work that's been completed and work that's going to go forward. So it's, you know, you remove some of that emotion out of it and the demand because you as the employee create this and hand it over to your employer um, or your supervisor and then that person kind of gives you feedback and you work together. Uh, it's a great way to monitor your time and to limit micromanagement. So what are your priorities? Um, you may download a status report, uh, as you can tell. Uh, template. So how do you download a status report template? If you're, you know, if you're in Word, go to File, New, and then you can look at a template and I'll look at one in a minute and you can adapt it to meet our assignment criteria. Um, please make sure you ask your boss uh, if you do create status reports uh, what kind that person would prefer. So there may be or already be a template wherever you're going or they may just be so grateful that you do this that they don't mind. Um, so here's what I want in the status report. I want your basic information along with your final presentation recommendation focus. So if you've decided to do the correct English recommendation, great. If you wanna do one that's more geared towards COVID-19 and where we're going now and a recommendation you think someone should take uh, because of that situation, that's fine. Um, you're gonna to need to narrow your focus and I'll give you some feedback on that. Tools. Um, look at the technology access of team members or yourself and let me know what's going on. So if you're an individual, you're also going to write one of these. Um, so what's your internet access and reliability right now? What type of software and or, and or website tools are you using for the different parts of your presentation? So make a decision. For your teams, uh, I need to see team member responsibilities, anticipated time investment, and due dates. So that doesn't have to be in that order, um, but I need to see them for all of the things like the handout, the visual aid, and the final presentation. Please don't do the final presentation on the day it's due. Make sure you set a day or time, you know, before that so that you have time to look over everything. Your processes, look at the lists of tasks and responsibilities for each deliverable and, and mark them, whether they're complete, pro in progress, not begun, have a script for your final presentation, um, have some practice videos, and then have your edited final video. And what is that gonna be? And then review the process for the filmed final presentation before, before submission. So if it's just you, are you gonna have a couple people look it over before you submit it and just give you some feedback? So if you're an individual, who's gonna look it over? If you are part of a team, how are you gonna get approval from everyone so that they can look it over? Then what are your challenges? What are your expected issues or problems? And then what are your questions? Make sure that whatever status report you create is easy to skim. So use the skills you've already learned. Now let's take a quick look at a, an example status report. So this is one that is a template. And 
you would change various things. So you can click on them and change them. What progress is, what project is this? We'll change that name. <laughs> um, or you can leave that and put your actual project name, final uh, BCOM 3310 final presentation. What is the date you're submitting it? Um, here's the legend. Do you want to use that same legend? They have color coding here. Um, you may want to put your team members um, somewhere in here. You can uh, insert something else if you wish, maybe a little text box. And uh, you can, let's see, uh, you can play with that and make it work. Um, or you can just <laughs> put, put your group, uh, group members in parentheses. And then you can go through here and say, okay, I want to address everything McCready said, um, and you can change this to address it better. Decide if uh, decide if you know what you have is adequate. You can change any part of this, so you can change the company name to Becom Thirty Three Ten in the semester. But, um, and then this is the abstract. Now, if you were doing this week to week, you would create it and then every week you would update it and you would give this to your partner and it would keep everyone on track. So this is part of project management, which is a role, as you can see, is gonna, it's gonna become more and more important. Um, the ability to do this is critical. And as we look at working from home, you can see why supervisors would wanna hire people who work this way, who think this way. And, and, you know, create easy feedback loops that don't involve a lot of drama. I hope this helped. <laughs> um, this should not be a crisis. This is an ability to think through what you're doing so that you set reasonable timelines and you alert me to questions or problems. And you can ask them early and we're all literally on the same page. I hope you're doing well and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.